Hello everybody! In this video, I will show you how to use LATS in your videos to create these cinematic colors in your editing. I'll start explaining you what are them and how do they work. And of course, like it says in the title, I prepare a free pack for you to enjoy. So I'm going to leave you the link in the description and I'm going to also tell you how to download it and how to use them. Intro! Before I start talking about LATS, I want to thank a friend from Canada who wrote me a comment in Instagram and gave me the idea to create this tutorial. So I'm going to leave my Instagram in the description so you can follow me because like you see, this is the best way to keep in contact with me. Okay, LATS. Color correction, color grading. For sure you heard about these two terms. They sound similar but they are completely different. Color correction is actually when you are editing your video and you do these basic corrections in the video, like exposure, like for example, the white balance, a little bit of saturation, the shadows. But color grading is when you add your style to the video, you add your tone to the video. Like when you put these bluish colors to make horror movies, or like for example, these warm colors that they put in the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Well, when you finish doing your color correction and your color grading, you have a chance to save all these configurations to use them in the future and these are called presets. So next time when you have a video that you want to add like the same tone, the same style, you just take the preset, you just pull it and that's it. The job is done. You don't need to work anymore. These presets are called LATS. I worked preparing a pack of LATS for you for free. So I'm going to leave you the link in that description and right now I'm going to show you how to install them and how to use them. Before I tell you how to use this free pack, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel. I'm posting every week and I'm preparing more free packs for you in different tutorials for different videos. So you know what to do. Now let's go to Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to use this free pack. Okay guys, we're here in Premiere Pro with three videos that I'm going to use so I can explain you how to use the LATS that I'm giving you for free. The first thing you have to do, of course, is to go in the description and download them. It's very easy because it's a Google Drive file, so you just click it and download the pack. Put the pack in a very safe place, a place that you know where is it so you don't struggle then to find it. First thing we have to do, we're going to create an adjustment layer here. Now, of course, you can use the LATS directly to the video, but I like to use adjustment layers for a simple reason that then in the future, if I don't like it, I just erase the adjustment layer and it's not a big deal. So I already created the adjustment layer, so I'm just going to put it over all the videos. And pressing Alt, you can actually just pull it and you release and that's it. You're copying the same adjustment layer. Okay. Second step, we go to color here where we have these workspaces. We go to color. If you don't have this workspace here, you just come to window. You just come here to Lumetri color and this is going to open exactly the same. Remember, we're working with the adjustment layers. So this is our first video. What we do is basic correction has here input LAT, but we don't want to do it here. We don't want to do any basic correction now. We're going to work with creative. In creative, you have look here and next to it says none because we're not using any LAT. We click here and we're going to put browse. And we're going to go to the folder that you just downloaded with the free pack. Now we have all of these LUTs here and we're going to use now clean as an example. There you go. It was a very subtle change, but it was a change. I'm going to come here to creative and we have this checkbox here. I'm going to uncheck it so you can see in the picture the difference. Look at the picture. This is how it was and this is how it is now. It's more colorful, it's a little warmer, I like it. And actually every video is different. So if you have a video where this is like maybe too little, you can add more of the LUT here or you can take the LUT completely and play here with the intensity of the LUT, okay? I like it how it was in 100%, so I'm gonna leave it there. Then here where it says adjustments, it's telling you that you can actually keep doing adjustments. So you can actually add a little bit of faded film so it makes it like a little bit vintage. You can add a sharpen, maybe vibrance, saturation, maybe I'm gonna take a little bit off. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now we go to the second option, the second video, remember, adjustment layer. Now this is a drone footage, it's very nice. I Actually, I film it very close to where I live. Now what we do, let's look for the same way, non, browse, and I think I'm gonna use warm vintage here. Ah, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna add actually a little bit more. 
Then faded film, I'm not gonna add. Sharpen, yes. Vibrance, yes. And color, yes. There you go. I like it. I like it a lot. Very easy. As you can see, this is very easy. Now let's go to the third example. Remember, adjustment layer. This is a simple video, a drone just going towards the streets and it looks very nice. And because of the colors of the video, you can say that you can use it basically in any, any kind of a movie or short or video you want to use. It's nothing special with the video. But what happened if we come here and we choose now cold? Oh, now it's different. Imagine if you put like a terrific music here to make like a horror movie. It could be very good for an intro for a horror movie. Look at this. You see, it changes. Now it gives you another vibe just because of the color. You just put a different tone. So now actually what you can do also is come to basic correction. You already put the lot. You just come to shadows. I wanna add a little bit more of shadows. Oh, now it's more terrific. <laughs> and the good thing is that you can see that besides you already add the lot and we are already using the lot, you can still do changes, not just in creative. You can also do changes in basic correction. You can add curves, you can keep Keep doing changes. So lots are actually good to help you to have a good start and from there you can adjust depending on the video you are using. Every video is different so the lots are gonna work differently in every video. As you can see so easy to use lots and it's a lot of fun. Now like I said before I'm creating more free packs and more tutorials for you so don't miss out just subscribe to this channel so you will be notified. And also, if you want to support me so I can keep creating videos like this, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description where you can literally buy me a coffee. Until next time.